Yeah. We're, We're back. Yeah. Sorry, that. Thank you. Thank you. Really beautiful. We are super excited today. Andrew, you want to open us up? What you got? I do. I have a fact for us on this wonderfully made day nine. So you're. You got some Christmas colors. I do on you right here. You're missing. You're missing one of the main. I mean, you got the two two main. We got red and green. Yeah. And you got. There's no. I don't see any gold. No. But gold's another big one. Yeah. Okay. No gold. So the fact that I want to tell you today is, you know, our Christmas colors, they're not just random mm. colors. There's there's reasons that we have. Red, green, and gold, and you know there's some other colors too. But those are the, those are the big ones. Yeah. All right. So red mm-hmm. represents the blood of Jesus, washes away our sins. Yeah. You have green, which represents life and rebirth, and you have gold, which represents light and royalty, and that's that's a pretty like it's not just when you look at those colors you're like oh those are pretty, but now you can be like. Oh, that's mm-hmm. that means something. That means something. That's cool. That's right. kind of like the uh, the holly wreath deal yes. as well. Yeah, there's it's really cool to see how everything kind of works together and symbolizes and reminds us of who Jesus is, which is kind of what we're talking about today, Andrew. It's another story in the book, the Bible. We've been going through it. If y'all haven't caught on yet, we got some pretty cool stories. Mm-hmm. All right, so today's story is all about a guy named Joseph, not. Joseph, Jesus' earthly dad, it's not that Joseph. Okay. Joseph, way a lot older, a lot older. He had several other brothers. Yes. And there was a little bit of some jealousy, mm-hmm. and I'm going to let you read that story. I don't yeah. want to go into it, but you can find that Joseph, he remains faithful, mm-hmm. and God blesses him. Yeah. And you get to read all about that story and go through it. So. What are we doing to go along with that, Sam? Well, what ends up happening is, I'm going to spoil the end, but Uh-oh. Joseph actually saves a lot of people because he prepares and gives away food and the necessities to people all around because there's a big famine. And so mm. we want to live out that um, attitude of servant hearts. And so we want you to work together with your family and gather or buy or collect some food and some things for people um, who don't have as much. And we can uh, donate those to local uh, soup kitchens or homeless shelters. Um, and we'll have They even got those pantry guys. boxes. They do have you the can... pantry boxes yes. all around town. You can find those. And share that servant um, heart with other people this season because it's not just about what we get, but how we can give to others. That's right. That's, that's really good. I think... I think today is going to be a really good day because yeah. that, like, we all like to eat, oh, you yeah. know, and there's some people that don't get to mm-hmm. eat as much. Yeah. And so sharing, sharing that, sharing that is- feeding people who are hungry, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's important. So, so that's it, right? Yep. We, we encourage you to, go, to do that today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye, guys.